会社ですベスティック USA、えー、この間スラッシュが宣伝のために日本に来ておりましてあの東京駅の近くではギター教室みたいなこともやったらしいんですけども、えー、ニューアルバムも出していますスラッシュといえばガンズのギタリストマイケルに呼ばれたこともある、えー、大変な人だっていうことはご存知だと思いますけども結構多趣味で。あのご存知かどうか知りませんけどお母さんもそのファッション関係でデイビッド・ボーイと仕事をしたりお父さんもあのアーチとの,あのレコードのデザインをやったりとそういう業界の人でお母さんはただアフリカ系の人なんですよねですからあのスラッシュはかなりあの面白い知能交じり方をしていてインタビューで自分はあの心はイギリス人だっていうお父さんイギリス人ですお母さんまあイギリスで生まれてますからねそれであの面白いのは自分の音楽の上でとても面白いあの感覚的なものになったのは60年代イギリスのミュージシャンがみんな黒人音楽をやろうとしてストーンズもビートルズもその時自分はその黒人の血が入っていくで70年代に入っても、えー、そのアメリカ人はイギリスの音楽に憧れていただからその憧れてるものがみんな僕も血の中に入っていてあのなんかその優越感というかいろ違う意味のコンプレックスになったようなことを言っていますそういうことをちょっとかんあの頭の中に入れてると彼らの音楽っていうのはよく分かってきます、えー、今回のアルバムについても語ってくれています
song World on Fire. Um, basically, it's <laughs> it's a very simple song. It's it's about living life to its fullest. Uh, if you were sort of in a situation where you know, okay, a better way to put it is looking at, at uh, living life as if, as if it was living every minute as if it was your last minute. It was a more of a sexual song, though, so it was <laughs> uh, looking at it from that point of view. Okay, here's a quiz to check your musical background. Hey, who's that guy? Quiz number one. Uh, Life in the Fast Lane. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then let's see what was uh, Joe Walsh is one of my favorite guitar players, and you know that's obviously a really great riff uh, from uh, Life in the Fast Lane. The next question. That's uh, Blue Child, Jimi Hendrix. Uh, Blue Child from Hendrix. Had a big influence. I actually play that live sometimes. So. That's about it for off the top of my head. Next question. Now that's a good one. Um, let me hear it again. That sounds like someone's version of uh, Superstitious, but I'm not sure who it is. I know I've heard it, but I can't remember who it is. Oh, it's Betty Bob. Okay. Right. No, I, yeah, I know that I heard it, but I didn't get it. Believe it or not, the, the Beck Wilhart and Peace song, you know, when I was, I'm still very much a Jeff Beck fan, but when I was first really into Jeff Beck, that particular record was great. The next question. Moby Dick from Led Zeppelin. No, no, not Moby Dick, Rock and Roll. <laughs> Jimmy Page was a big influence on me too when I first picked up a guitar. Still to this day, I really appreciate, um, uh, you know, the way that Jimmy played his guitar sound and his his production work. You know, um, his use of harmonies on the guitar. You know, when uh, recording Zeppelin songs and just the way that he uh, filled songs out with licks and sort of melodies here and there had a big influence on me. And the last question. Back in the South. Yeah. My, my favorite intro of all time. Well, Back in the South definitely um, it was one of the, that was the opening song of the, the most influential record for me when I was 14 and 15 years old from the Rocks album from Aerosmith. And uh, yeah, so that was majorly influential uh, for me. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I was just pissed at myself for missing the Red Bull there. I should, I didn't know I had, I could listen to it longer. Yeah. Slash JPEG が当たんなくて相当残念がっていますが、あの彼が言ってました。80年代のガンゼンローズっていうのは実は90年代のゼッペリンになるだろうと。みんな言ってたんですよ。イギリスのマスコミなんか特にそんなことを言っていました。えー、ところがそれがまあ、えー、解散というか実現しなかったわけですけれども、この人もちょうどスラッシュと同じ時期東京にいたんです。And actually when I was eight years old, seven or eight years old, I first heard a whole lot of love. I think that's what subconsciously got into my head as far as the perfect guitar sound. And sort of influenced my decision to play a Les Paul through a Marshall later on. Jimmy is? Oh, well, you have to tell him I said hi. <laughs> I'll be locked up doing press all day. So, but tell him I said hey. Let's see. You just interviewed Slash from the Oh yeah. And he said to say hi. Hello. He's. Oh, it's funny because I was in the. I was at the bootleg shop, and, and they were playing uh, Superstition, Becomes a Moses. I never even, I mean, I 
keep up with everything that they did. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it was interesting to hear his sort of guitar playing out of, out of, when you haven't heard it for quite a while, you know. He's, uh, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a fine guitarist, you know, he's, he's good. Um, he's, just recently there was, I don't know whether he told you this, but there was a, he may not have known because it was in the UK, that they had <coughs> um, a poll, um, all the listeners for the BBC had a poll of all of the, the riffs. They, they broke it down to 500 and then, yeah, it was 500 riffs anyway. Must have been thousands to begin with. And it, it was all guitar riffs and it was, it was a um, whole lot of love came number one from uh, Bert Sweet Child of Mine was number two, so that's that. So, so he's hot on my trail. <laughs> ジミー・ペイジのインタビューも交えて、え、基本に戻るというか、え、出発点に戻るというか、そんな感じの番組になります。え、ついでにニューヨークに来て、ついでっと悪いから、ミスター・ビングも詰め込んで、え、お送りします